to my youtube channel so in this video we shall see about the tutorial on how to search and retrieve dna sequence of proteins from genbank database so go to the browser and type ncba.nlm.nih so it will take to you to the ncba website so from that In all database, uh, select the nucleotide. So uh, enter the protein which you need to know about the sequence. So I am entering hemoglobin. So hemoglobin is a protein molecule which is made up of four polypeptide chain, two alpha chain, and two beta chain. So two alpha chain consists of 141 amino acids and two beta chain consists of 146 amino acids. So uh, the research appears here. So several documents have been available uh, based on different organisms of where hemoglobin proteins uh, are available uh, and their DNA sequence are transformed. So I am choosing the first one. So it is a sequence of uh, pseudo Terranova decipients, frame sheet mutated hemoglobin mRNA complete CDS. So it is the GenBank access number. So GenBank is the database where uh, several uh, nucleotides and protein sequence with supporting bibliographic and uh, biological annotations uh, built and distributed by the NCBA. So, uh, GenBank file contains a lot of information about a sequence uh, such as a function of encoder products, translation, start and stop sites, gene length, organisms which is cloned, uh, how the gene sequence has cloned, predicted amino acid sequence, intron or exon spice uh, uh, sites uh, if there are any unique uh, sequence identifier. So, based on the access number we can able to access it. So, the reference material are being available. So, um, so locus is just like the abstraction number. So in this, the base pair one three five three base pair uh, on mRNA linear mRNA. So from this, uh, the the protein have been sequenced. Then the, it provides abstraction number, version, keywords, uh, the protein, hemoglobin. Then the source from where the uh, hemoglobin is taken. So uh, from the Anelida uh, pseudo Terranova decipients a code worm. So from this worm, uh, hemoglobin protein uh, gene sequence was been carried out. So it represents the uh, phylogenetic classification. Uh, so it represents the eukaryotes, uh, metazoa, uh, then the kingdom, phylum, class order. These details have been mentioned here. So this is the reference section. Uh, here the author's name have been mentioned, the title have been mentioned, then the journal, then comments uh, whether the how they have retrieved these uh, documents, these have been mentioned here. So if you drag down, you can be able to see the format. So it is the format of the lean sequences. We can also be able to visualize these sequences in graphical format too. Click on the graphics. So it will illustrate the graphical representation of the sequence. So the green, uh, if you place the cursor on the color, we can able to visualize the uh, which from which part from which uh, gene it has been taken. So the green part represents the hemoglobin. So the location and the protein have been mentioned uh, based on the coloring. So it is the graphical format. So we can also be able to visualize the sequence in the FASTA format, fast alignment. So it will provide a clear view of the DNA sequence of this. So it is the FASTA format of pseudo Terranova decipients. 
so if we can also go to the gen bank we can able to download this format so just by clicking the send to option so click on the send to option So I'm 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 exporting the complete uh, record. So click on the file which you are going to download. Uh, which format I am going to download a Gen Bank format. We can also be able to download in Fasta too. So I'm going to download Gen Bank. So just click uh, create file. So automatically the file will be downloaded. We can be able to visualize it in Microsoft Word. sequence which have been obtained from the NCBI we are uh, the pseudo Terranova recipients uh, worm uh, hemoglobin sequence have been downloaded in GenBank so here is the format we can easily able to download so thank you